and here we are. Welcome back, mother truckers, to another episode of Trucking with Greg, episode nine. This episode, it's much, much weighted from our last one. It's been a while since we played American Truck Simulator, and I like really miss it. And it was Sunday morning, and I just felt like this would be a great time for me to jump on here and just do some jobs. We have a slight problem, though. Since the last time I played this game, they did a little bit of an update, and unfortunately, I was in the middle of a job up in Oregon. I had worked so hard to get out of California. I'm going to back my audio down a little bit. We're getting a little hot here. I'd worked so hard to get out of California and work my way up to Oregon because I bought the Pacific Northwest DLC. And unfortunately, there was uh, there was some type of update, and I no longer have the opportunity to uh, to drive up in Oregon. So I'm kind of upset about that. But nonetheless, we are going to be able to get back there. I'm going to probably do a little quick job here to get me into Oregon, and then we'll find some cool jobs. And there was one that I really loved. Let me see if I can get the, get the chat up here, too. There was one that I was like really excited about that I'm just like totally bummed I didn't get to do because it was the situation was where I could literally drive a bulldozer. And I was like doing some off-road stuff, too, which was just wild. Welcome to the stream, guys. Appreciate you stopping by. I see the chat now. Uh, we're going to be jumping into some trucking jobs here up in Oregon. So let's go. Let's let's do this. I got to get back into the uh, the PC is just so much more complicated than doing the old. Um, I got like three things open now, than doing things on the um, Xbox or PlayStation. So we're going to go. This is my mother trucker's setup. As you can see, we have forty three thousand dollars. I own my truck outright. And lately what we've been doing is just hauling stuff for other people. And I'm okay with that. Gosh, i got to get this all set up properly. If you're watching this in the future, just fast forward like two minutes. We'll be into this. No problem. i got to check my audio. That's one thing. I, I finally got a double monitor set up here, which is really cool. Uh, you can't see it, of course, but I'm using my TV that I usually play video games on as a second monitor so I can monitor audio because sometimes it's just easy. It's not so good. So I'm going back and forth between all this. I wish this game was on console because I would totally freaking play it on there. So let's go into uh, job market. We're going to do a quick job just to get us from out of Bakersfield and up into Oregon. So um, let's just see what jobs we can get if we can if we can move around over here. So as you can see, this is all these are all the states I have. I have Arizona, California, Nevada, Oregon, Idaho, Washington. I don't think I have Utah. It would be cool if I did. So let's let's find a job that just takes us to Oregon. Oh my God, this one takes us from California to Oregon, which would be kind of cool. I think I was here. I was in like Klamath Falls, somewhere in that area. Let's just find something that gets us to the very bottom of Oregon, if there is one. So th these take us to Bend, which wouldn't be bad. That would definitely get us up there. Where does this take us? Ooh, too far north, too far north. Um, let's see. That one's Bend, Oregon. They really have a lot of stuff going in and out of Bend, Oregon. I don't want to go to California. I've been to Arizona. I don't want to be in the north. I want to find my way up there. I need to get into the south because that's where I started at. That's where I was. Even if it's just a short little job, still too far north in Oregon. I want to find my way through Oregon. That was the whole thing. I didn't want to... Oh, there we go. That's perfect. We'll take some forklifts from right in California to Lakeview. I'm actually going to be driving one of their trucks for this job. Looks like it is a uh, international. Cool. All right. Let's uh, let's take that job. It's going to pay us $6,000, $30.58 cents per mile. Let's take the job and see if I remember how the heck to uh, run this game. Brad, welcome, man. And welcome. Random Gamer, welcome. Republic, welcome. Svesco, welcome. Ninja Master, welcome. Wiki, let's go. Let's go. Let's go indeed. Let's run some trucking simulator. I love this game. It's on, I think it might be on sale right now. There's like a Steam sale that's happening. And this one might be might be on sale. I know Euro Truck Simulator is, and I'm thinking about getting that. So, uh, oh, let's let's get you guys the view so you can see what we're running. We got uh, two forklifts on the back of this bad where It's all we're hauling is two forklifts. This is my truck. It's the International. I turned off aliasing, or I, like, bumped that up. So this game should look the best it's ever looked in its entire existence with me. I just have to remember how to play. So let's get back in here. Let's uh, throw her in, drive, and let's roll out. You can see the map there in the bottom right corner. That's where I need to be going. I'm going to uh, I'm going to sit outside the truck for just a minute here, so I can get my way out of this place. 
It's all got to come back to me, I'm sure. It's just like driving a 18-wheeler. It all comes back to you. Assuming I can just blast through this. So we're leaving California once more on our way up to Oregon. And I'm looking forward to Oregon because we haven't done much there. See my turn signal on. Graphics looking crispy. Forklifts ready to go. We don't want to pull out in front of the police officer. No, thank you. We did that once and uh, <laughs> it was not, not the most ideal situation. Let me know if the audio is too loud for the truck because sometimes it gets a little spicy. These trucks tend to be a little loud. I might drive outside the truck for a little bit here, see what it's like. I kind of like it. It feels like Grand Theft Auto a little bit. Freightliner truck dealer discovered. No shiz. That's cool. We might go back there and buy a Freightliner. Although I think my next truck's going to be the Mac Anthem. That seems to be, like, for me, the best truck in the game. There's some construction equipment if you guys want to check that out. Might be hauling some of that one of these days. We're going to roll up here behind this police officer. Throw our turn signal on. If you guys want some in-the-truck footage. There you go. You can hear the... Hear the turn signal. I love it. You can look out the mirrors. You can see the stuff behind us there. Oh, I guess I should probably get going. Time to drive. Oh, that's a little loud. We're going to have to turn that down a little bit here. Inside the truck. Very loud. You guys like that rumble, though, don't you? Let me, let me hit the little pause action here, and we'll back that audio down ever so slightly as I navigate between, like, 60 different things here on my second monitor. We'll just bring that down ever, ever so slightly. Because there's not much to hear in this game, to be honest. It's just, whoa, bum, 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 which is actually kind of cool. Okay. Let's, uh, let's, let's drive. Get back into our drive here. That should fix our situation, hopefully. And this game's, like, full screen, too, which doesn't help our situation. Why are we loading? I just hit the pause button. Yeah, this game is awesome, man. Don't boot me out of my job. There we go. Okay, we're in business now, baby. What's my headlight button? It's going to be getting dark here. Oh, no, it's only... It's almost noon. It's not dark. What am I thinking? It's still pretty loud. Let me know if that game audio is too loud for you fine folks. We're going to be turning up here. Getting on to 299. We're going to skirt right over here into this turning lane. Then we got to wait for the light. Because one thing you don't want to do is turn on a red. Even though all those guys are just sitting. Red's all around. Got the green arrow. And we're off. There's a Griswold's car. So we're going to be getting there uh, four hours, two minutes. That's not real time, of course, so you don't have to worry about that. But we got 175 miles to drive out here. Uh, what's the... Uh, 42 miles an hour. What's the speed limit in this bad boy? 45. I'm good. I've gotten my share of speeding tickets here and there. It happens occasionally. Sometimes. We're getting all the red lights, though. You guys are jinxing me. We can enjoy the wildlife here. Look at those beautiful flowers. Not bad rendering, actually. Like, for a game as old as this, it's not bad. Got the Mustang over here. One of the few cars that are, like, in the game that you can kind of tell what it is, but, uh... Not officially licensed. That's probably, uh... That's a U-Haul. A, a new hole. <laughs> <laughs> and who and who that's funny all right yay we got a green light finally that's what I needed in my life so we're working our way north here from California Trying to make our way back to Oregon again. Oh, God, I got over. I didn't need to. Look, we got to get back in that lane again. Just hauling two forklifts at $30 per mile. That's an expensive forklift transportation service. But I guess forklifts are heavy. I would think, though, if you're going to be hauling them, maybe you would put, like, 12 of them on here. Like, when they see those cars that get hauled. I'm going to back the audio down ever so slightly. Can I do this while I'm driving? Probably not. Let's just let's just pause her. Do you guys ever see when they're 
traveling with cars and stuff, how they they really uh, load those things up. We saw one when we were traveling. We saw one that was had an accident, which was crazy. All the cars were smashed up, and I was like, oh, my God, that's so much money. That's so much friggin' money just sitting there. Wouldn't be as devastating to crash the forklift trailer. When you got some BMWs on the back of this thing, that's when you start got to start getting a little careful. But we're always careful here at Mother Truckers. We try to keep the keep the stuff on the road. Although we've had our share of accidents too. Shadows on the road look pretty good. Um, the cacti or whatever those bushes are, they're a little low res, but. You know, it is what it is. We're getting up into the mountains, so my truck's struggling a little bit. We got to get some extra juice on this bad boy. She's she's uh, not loving this hill. Welcome to Oregon. I don't know if we crossed the state line yet or not, but we're getting there. This is what it's going to look like. Come on, baby. I'm trying to get the freight liner up here. We're going 34 miles an hour in a 55. Looks like we got some traffic ahead of us though, so it's going to be okay. When my truck shifts, I'm like, please, don't. Don't shift up. Give you guys a look out over the valley here. Can't see much. I'm trying to drive in and get the shots. Beautiful up here. We finally hit 48 miles an hour. Andy, welcome, man. Happy Sunday. We're driving some forklifts up to Oregon. Glad to have you along. It's like you guys are sitting here with me. If that seat wasn't empty, you'd be right there. Guess I better stay on the gas because we want this thing to actually make it up this. When we hit the, the top end of this hill, it's going to get a little nutty. Got 40 miles per hour. These cars are probably jacked being stuck up here. Ooh, had to get on the brakes a little bit there. Chris, welcome. Everybody's here today. Happy Sunday, dude. We're hauling some forklifts, Chris. All the way up to Oregon. Far from your neck of the woods. It's almost as far as you could go away from you is where we're driving. We do have Washington to get to. We haven't gotten there yet. Gas prices? Uh, not too far off. <laughs> not. I used to think that they were really expensive in this game. Now it's unfortunately pretty accurate. Not ideal. All right, guys, let's get on it here a little bit, boys. We got forklifts delivered. You guys want to see the load? There you go. Hauling the forklifts. We got a whole slew of traffic behind us, including a bus. All right, let's 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 drive outside a little bit. I like the variety. Driving the International. I like getting into some different trucks. My Kenworth has been my steed this entire time. Going over the bridge. Beauty. Ooh, okay, let's, I'm giving you guys the sights, but I'm going to crash the truck, so we're not going to do any more of that. We're going to be there in uh, two hours, 38 minutes. Try to keep it between the lines here as I'm driving outside. It's a little bit harder, I feel like, driving outside the truck than inside for some reason. But you get more of that view. I like it. As we go up the mountain again. It's beautiful. All right, we're, we're slowing her down a little bit, boys. Woo! Slow. <laughs> why, why, guys? No. No. You ruined me. Oh, they ruined me. Brad says, when I drove my truck in the Army, anytime I'd go up a hill, I would shift up and so hard you think the engine was going to explode. That's kind of what's happening here in my international. Kaboom! Everybody slowed down there big time and I had to basically put it to a stop and then that ruined all my momentum going up this mountain. A little bit different than the highways of California, isn't it? Out here on 299. I think we're in Oregon. I guess that's like an Oregon road sign, I would assume. Gosh, Oregon. I love it. I, I, I want to gawk. I want to gawk around. I'm, I would not be a good driver because I'm just looking out the windows the whole time. <laughs> yeah, now we got some momentum. We're just going to cruise right down this hill. We got to conserve fuel too because gas is now, or diesel is what, like 7 or $8 a gallon? 
we got to coast down these hills. 60 miles an hour. I'm speeding a little bit, actually. As we get into some more uh, kind of like deserted area. Deserted, deserted. Two different things, I feel like. Deserted, meaning no one there. Deserted, new word, of the desert. Deserted. All right, we're going up another hill. I need, like, I'm going to put my money into getting, like, an engine boost or something. We need NOS. We need NOS on this thing so I can start making it up these hills, baby. Get there at 12.07. Uh, it's currently 10.16, so we've got less than two hours to drive. Halfway through our trip. What are we looking at here? Hot feel oh, missed it. <laughs> Anyone catch that sign, what it said back there? We're continuing. Oh, shoot. I'm going 68 miles an hour. Hatfield, Klamath Falls. We're definitely in Oregon now. 40 miles an hour. Is that Carby? Canby? Nice little town. Keeping it uh, on the yellow line, of course. Oh my gosh, this is great. I want to fly over this now. Every time I play this game, it gets me Jones in to get a to get the flight simulator out. I want to do both. That would be so cool if you could drive to an airport and then it launched you into flight simulator, but it was like a flawless experience, so you couldn't even tell that it changed. And then you are flying after that, like delivering cargo. It would be so cool. I'm a master of all things. Driving trucks, flying planes, then like you land and then there's a shootout. I don't know. We could turn it into like uh, Gears of War. There, there's an alien infestation. You got to take cover and start shooting some people. I think this could be the ultimate game. It's like Grand Theft Auto. A little, uh, really good at everything, really. On today's drink list, iced coffee courtesy of the missus. It's going to get us through these long hauls because you know we're going to be driving through the night at some point here. We're dropping this off at noon, which is perfect time for lunch. We should find a little spot. What's the most popular fast food restaurant in Oregon? It's probably... Probably McDonald's. Or is it pizza and pasta? Oh! Yes, please. Yes, please. The barber, get our mustache trimmed. You guys see anything coming? I think we're clear. Pretty straight jaunt here. I haven't had to turn at all. Uh, have we seen Multiverse of Madness since it went on Disney Plus? Guess what we're doing today, Nick? Guess what we're doing today? We're watching Multiverse of Madness. We're going to do that later tonight, so I'll report back on the next trucking sim. <laughs> Sesh, that, uh, how we liked it. I'm sure it's going to be amazing. We were going to go see it in theaters, but we just got really busy, so we ended up um, waiting, and I guess it's good we did, because we already have Disney+. Plus. So why the heck not? If you guys could let me know, I can see the desktop audio. It's it's a little high. Let me know how the microphone is. Is it is it too loud, too quiet? I can adjust things. I just have to do a little quick pause. Oh, shh. Shoot balls. We got the po was he dancing? Oh, we got an accident. Okay. Always sad to see that out here. Get on it, boss. Send me back five minutes. Whenever I'm playing this, I play with a controller, which is probably kind of weird, but I feel like it's the best way. I tried playing this with my uh steering wheel. It was it was a disaster. No bueno. So I've been playing this with my my controller. And every once in a while, like if I look around quite a bit, the angle gets all messed up. So I have to like reset it. But it's right beside the button where I can come outside too, where things get real quiet. Audio is good. Thanks, Brad. Bradimus Prime, as I call him now. How you enjoying Oregon, Brad? I know it's a little deserted here. <laughs> We're going to get into the good stuff, though, once we get further north, I think. I am worried about my truck being able to handle all these mountains. 
Is that a railroad down there? Oh, that's what we could add to the game. Trains. There's Walter White mixing up some of the blue meth <laughs> in his camper. Where did that come from? Well, oh, we're welcome to Oregon. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize we weren't in Oregon. Well, sweet sassy molassy. I thought we were in Oregon this whole time. Don't hire me to be your navigator. I just follow the red line and the GPS, but we are officially in Oregon now. It looks a lot like where we were just at and I thought it was Oregon. We we're in California. What's Oregon's motto? Oregon. Home of Nike. No, I don't think that's it. What's this over here? What do we got? Oh, we're in Lakeview. I love Lakeview. We got cows. I'm going to try not to wreck the truck, but I want to I want to take a gander. Okay, okay, boss. Get on it. Sheesh. What's meth? <laughs> Watch Breaking Bad. I forgot that there's uh, youngsters watching. He's making Kool-Aid, probably. Oh, we've got a skate park over here with actual scat breaders in it. Oh, my God. This is, expansion's wonderful. That wasn't happening in California. Did you guys see the skateboarders over there? What's playing here? Believe. Kind of an old depressed town, it seems. Although not too bad. We got a uh, got a big store over here. Cafe Way, serving Lakeview and the Lake County since 1939. We got a fire truck over here. That'd be cool to drive. Nice little town. That would suck to have that house right there where you got trucks coming through here all the time. Oh, we made it to our destination. Holy smokes. Didn't even realize we're going to Lakeview anymore. <laughs> we have made it. That was a straight drive. I don't think I turned the wheel one time other than just the little turns. So where are we at here? Where are we going? Right up here? Right here to sell goods. Guess they want me to come through. We're going to try to... Uh, We're gonna try to back her in. Get it. I think we can do this, guys. I'm a little rusty, so wish me luck. But I'm gonna try to back her in here. Whatever they need me to do. Appreciate your patience, guys. Behind me. Much appreciated. Are we clear? Are we good? You gonna credit me with this or what? I'm I'm literally here. I'm here. Okay, um, I gotta remember how to put her in reverse. Okay, hold on. I think we might have gone forward too far. What was my control for? No, don't decouple. Um, frick sakes. I could have swore this was it. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Okay, we. What am I doing wrong here? Did did my controls not come over? Turn signal, turn signal, right? Brake, gas. Um. No. Okay. Well, this this freaking sucks. Let's go into options. Figure out what what's going on here. What why are my controls working there? Break and reverse. Yep, yep. Shift up, shift down. A. Shift down. Joystick 2 missing. What? Yeah. Shift up, shift down. That's my that's my shift down. That's what I wanted. I was wondering why my truck wasn't shifting down. That was weird. Okay, let's get back into this. Okay. Freaking back her up. I don't know why they didn't credit me with that. I guess maybe I wasn't on it perfectly. But I didn't want to stay out in the middle of the road. That seems seemed not good. Sorry, anyone that's coming by. Jeez Louise. Alright, let's see. Where do you need it? I'd say we go for it. 
Yeah, I like backing up unless it's nighttime, Andy. If you're backing up during nighttime, it's it's borderline nightmarish. Um, but I'm going to try to put it where they need it. All right, so we're going to uh, put her in drive again. Or maybe neutral. <laughs> Got to get these friggin' forklifts in here. So my plan... I don't think my truck's an automatic. I'm stuck in like a really low gear. My plan is to bring her around over here. Best I can. We got this, boys? We don't got this, do we? We might got this. Just, just gotta get her, uh... Oh my god. I'm going into X Games mode. Very close. They might even credit me with that, but I'm going to straighten her out because I'm a, a classy fella. Let's try to uh, try to weasel our way out of this. Give myself as much space as possible. All right. So when you're backing up, you kind of want to do the opposite of what you think you, you want to do. So if you want the trailer to go that way, you turn the wheels the other way. Oh, we're getting a little squirrely, boys. Sheesh! I should... <laughs> I'm doing worse now. Don't listen to my tutorials. Holy smokes, I frigged that up. I think I got it too aggressive with the, with the wheels. Credit me. Close enough? <laughs> oh my god, they said close enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have I played SnowRunner before? Oh my gosh. I was thinking about SnowRunner this morning. I want to get back into it. Freaking love that game, man. Freaking love SnowRunner. We made some money. Six grand. 463 XP. Working our way to level 11. I'm going to check a little something here if you guys don't mind. Going to make sure we're all freaking copacetic with the audio. We are. We're all good. Yeah, SnowRunner is good. Um, X Games mode. <laughs> yeah, we're on X Games mode. I love backing up. I would like it, just like in Mario Party, how it's it's um, the game is fun, but the mini games are even more fun. I wish they did just a straight up like backup challenge mode, like in Flight Simulator. They have all these landing challenges and stuff. That's essentially what it is. This is like landing the truck, uh, but if it's nighttime, I I just frig out of it, and I don't even bother with backing it up because it's it's way too it's it's you can't see a damn thing. <laughs> so I just I just don't. Uh, maybe some of you guys, I'm sure Andy freaking, he probably backs it up. Midnight, blizzard, no lights, just turns everything off, backs it up using the, the, the force. Not me, my friend. But now, good news is, good news is we're in Oregon, so we're going to go into the freight market. So I own this red truck that you're looking at, and now I can start picking jobs. And I want to come up here, because I'm in, I'm in the Oregons, I think. Unless, oh, do they keep me in my freaking spot? No, my truck. Oh God, I was thinking that my truck would transport with me, mother trucker. I don't want to drive all the way through California again. I worked so hard to get to Oregon. Can I buy a garage? Can I buy a garage in Oregon? Hmm. Mother fricker. Yeah, I'm gonna be traveling. Maybe not. Maybe not though. Let me see. Let me see. Are these all out of California? These are all out of California. No, frick. These are all out of Bakersfield, which is where my truck is. They screwed me over so hard, dude. I was all the way up in Oregon already. I was thinking that if I went to Oregon, my truck would be with me. But now that doesn't even make any sense in my mind because why would it be? I wasn't driving my truck. But I, I freaking spent an entire session of this game driving myself all the way out of California just to get to Oregon. I need another spot. I need to open up a garage in Oregon so I can start doing these Oregon Washington routes. I only have 49 grand. So we need to figure out what I need to do here. Um Let's see here. Freight market. Where would I go to do that? External contacts. What is this? No, that's not it. So if I go to world map. I gotta figure out how to do this. 
How was I buying trucks and doing stuff before? I don't remember. Maybe if I close out of this. Okay, 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 okay. Garage manager. I got one garage. How do I buy a garage? Purchase garage is, is blacked out, grayed out. I can purchase a trailer. I can hire a driver. Oh, here's the recruitment agencies. Truck dealers. How do I buy a garage, though? Do I just not have enough money to do it? Shoot. I don't know what to do. I don't want to drive all the way up through California, but I could. I could do that. I mean, what difference does it make if I'm driving through California or Oregon? But I want to have a setup in Oregon. Hmm. Shoot balls. Why can't I purchase a garage? Is it simply because I don't have enough money? I can go take a loan out and see. Maybe we'll do it. Go to the bank. Should we take a ma massive loan out? 400K. I could do a couple things. I could take a loan for 400K out. I could get a garage, hire another driver on, and buy a second truck. Can I do that all with that money? Hmm. I don't know if there's a way to undo this. Let's let's just freaking roll with it. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. 12% interest rate. That, it kills me. It hurts my soul. I've done everything debt free so far. 18% on 100 grand. Okay. I think I'm better off just taking the more money, right? 20% on 50 grand. Jeez. These guys are running a friggin' uh, they're running a loan shark program here. All right. Um, let's see. Do you wish to confirm your application? I got to make a lot of money, boys. Jeez, Louise. Okay. We got to start we got to start earning some serious bank now. All right, let's go into um let's go back into garage manager once. I still can't purchase a garage. Maybe it's cuz I don't own another truck. So let's go to truck dealers. And then I want to I want a Mac truck. Do I have to drive there? Buy online. All right. So what's the difference between these Mac Anthem Day Cab and what's the difference between the two of these? Six by two, three forty-five. Oh, this one's a little bit speedier. If I'm gonna be driving this bad boy, I think I'm gonna get this. This is gonna be my truck. All right, so I'm going to drop. Crap, I hope I don't mess this up. I'm going to buy the Mac Anthem. Can I customize it? Hmm. I think the only thing I would probably change, like I, I don't really need to change much. Because um, we can always upgrade it later. But the paint job, what color could we go with? It's silver, the green. That's kind of fire. Custom paint jobs. Oh, dude, I have these ones that I got. From old school, baby. These are ones that I got from like some DLC or some crap. Oh, so freaking old school. They want twenty grand for a paint job though, but I think it's worth it because it's gonna show off my truck like to the extreme. I gotta figure out which one I love the most. Can you guys saunt it? That's that's kind of hideous, but it feels old school. Um, I like that one a lot. That's that's kind of similar to my last one. Um, shoot balls. This is a twenty thousand dollar decision. I'm kind of liking that one. I think that looks kind of fire. Like I don't really want to. I don't want a white truck. That's not kind of boring what do you guys think I'm kind of like I'm kind of like between these two maybe I like the blue and I like that that red but I already have a red truck I might just roll with this one that that one's kind of fire I could though for 10% of the cost I don't have to spend 20,000 I could just get the, like the gray one like a boring boy they got the blue black looks kind of sick too 
I might go with black, just like a little, just a little boring. Oh man, I don't know. I could always come back and paint it, I guess. Oh, you can change these colors. That's interesting. So if you like, I guess you're more like uh, looking at the design on it, more so than anything. I spend more time trying to figure out. Andy likes the green. The green is kind of sick. It's like a metallic. I'm like really partial to black though. I think that looks so killer in the Mac. That's boring, that's boring. Do you think it's worth spending 20, gr 20 grand on the custom paint job though? I think we have to. I, I, I'm kind of liking that. I think it looks sick. I think I'm just going to go with it, you know? You only live once in American Truck Simulator. I could change the colors, too, if I want to. I think it looks kind of fire. I don't know. Or do I just keep it simple? All right, let's keep it simple. No. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to do. It seems irresponsible to spend 20000 Like, I have $40,000 in the game. It seems irresponsible to spend twenty thousand dollars on a on some stripes down the side when I could literally just like I could just have that. I wonder if I can change the color anytime. I don't know, dude. I kinda like I like that I like that blue. That blue is kinda sick too. Frigate. I'm going to this one. It's it's speaking to me, I think. That's kind of cool on the hood, though. I don't like that one. That one's kind of, nah. Oh, that's kind of cool. Different gradients and stuff. You can do a custom color as well. That's really weird. I don't know what to do. This is like the biggest decision of my life right now, somehow. That one's cool, but it's like, I don't know if I like the, I don't like that tan color so much. What if we, um, The white, that's kind of fire if I if I just got the right colors on it. What would be a good color scheme for something like this? It's like that red, like what if you, oh dude, we can make this thing look baller. What would be a really sick color scheme? I wish I was like driving for a company because I would just match their colors for sure. This one has like the coolest, that like you switch that to black maybe. Or you come down and you do like a, you do like a, a, you could do like the Phoenix Suns, like get some purple on there. I don't think I want purple on my truck, but. Oh, that's hideous, dude. That feels very vintage right there too. You got like the different colored oranges. I'm kind of feeling this. I wonder if I can come back and switch the um, the actual colors of it anytime I want to. Because if I could do that, maybe I'll just go with the default version of this. I feel like it feels very like it feels very like 70s. I kind of like that. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. I'm just gonna I'm gonna go with this. I might take that tan though and make it white. That's the only thing that's kind of like messing with me. I think I'm just gonna roll with that. You guys like the tan or you like the white? Should I just should I just go with the cust the, the standard issue? It feels like a new truck. Okay, Andy says you can. You can I, like once I buy this paint scheme, I could change this. I might change it every time I play the game. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with this then. I'm gonna rock that out. All right. So how do I buy this bad boy? Going with the new truck, but it feels so vintage. All right. So it, so that's what we're buying. 
Sorry, you don't have any space left in your garages. Mother trucker. Okay. Um, we got to go back to the garage then. Garage manager. How do I open up a, a new spot? Or do I have to hire a driver first? Recruitment agency. I'm going to click hire a driver. All right, you don't have any slots available for a new driver. Please upgrade one of your garages or buy a new one. I want to! Maybe I have to hit a certain level to, to do that. How do I... How do I do that? Okay, um, upgrade. I mean, I'm okay adding slots, but I want to, I want a new garage, dude. Maybe this is what I have to do. Hmm. Okay. I just upgraded my garage. We're going to hire another driver to drive my Kenworth. I'm going to drive the new Mack truck once I buy it. I have to buy it now. We're going to be pretty short on funds here, I feel like. It does seem silly, I guess, to have two garages when you only have one truck. You know, I wanted like a vacation garage. My trucking headquarters have expanded exponentially. That's looking a lot nicer. So now we need to hire a driver and get my truck. Okay, what do I do first? Um, truck manager. Truck dealers. Okay, let's go back in. We'll do that same thing. It'll be a little bit quicker this time, though. Uh, Mac... Buy online. Imagine buying a $133,000 Mac Anthem online. All right, so we're going to go into Customize Configuration, and then we're going to go into the Paint Scheme. Look how efficient I am now that I have actually gone through it. And we're going to get the uh, the most epic of paint schemes of all time right there, baby. And then uh, we're going to click Confirm, and then we're going to uh, to purchase for one hundred and fifty grand, And... Um, Okay. Select your garage. Okay. There. In Bakersfield. Select an available slot. Oh, right here. Isn't that assumed? Okay, thank you for purchase. Delivery by uh you will deliver your newly bought truck to your garage in Bakersfield immediately. Please note that all trucks bought here have regular insurance paid already. Sweet. Okay. Now, recruitment agency. We need to hire a driver, baby. Let's hire somebody. We got to pick somebody that's really well qualified. I feel like, or whoever looks the coolest. I feel like me and Rob B would probably get along together. He looks like he would fit right into Mother Truckers. This guy Sebastian looks like a he looks like a darn serial killer. I can't hire that man. Who else we got? Oh my god! All these guys look like they might be serial killers. All right, so he charges three hundred fifty-seven dollars, three fifty-four, three fifty-seven. You know, I think I gotta go with. What's the point eight here? What is that? We offer. Oh, his rating's pretty low. Oh, Rob, Bob, Bob. I, I want to hire you, buddy, but your rating's kind of low. You're only at a point eight, and you're asking almost as much money as Daniel over here, who's a 1.7. And he's got more certifications and qualifications than you do, sir. What do you guys think? Should we give Bob a chance? I feel like if Mother Truckers doesn't hire him, I don't know if he's going to get a job. He's got some things going against him, like he's a little bit older. I feel like a lot of people, when they go to hire, they're probably looking for like a younger guy. Like Bob definitely looks like he's close to retirement age. Gosh, I just I just believe in him though. I believe in Bob. I feel like if if I give him this opportunity, I don't think he's going to let me down. 
Man, he's asking a lot, though, for what he has. But I like the guy. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to be Bob. I just... For Bob. I got you, brother. You're on my team. All right, buddy. Let's uh, let's put you in my... Can I switch trucks? I don't want you, I don't want you driving that truck though. Um, let me make sure. I'm gonna try to switch trucks before Bob gets in that truck, and then I can't drive my new one any, anymore. Um, truck manager. Um, how do I drive this one? Drive it. Okay, you're able. You are able to reassign your Kenworth. Okay. Yay. Okay. All right, sorry for the delay, Bob. I just wanted to make sure I was in the right truck before you started driving my new epic-looking vintage but new Mac Anthem. i um, going to put Bob in the Kenworth. I'm sure he's okay with that, you know? Like, he's got to be okay with it, right? Like, he's getting a job. Bob's getting a job, so let's... Are there different recruitment agencies, too? Okay, let's just... Wait, are there... Am I just looking at Bakersfield? Or does it matter? I guess it doesn't matter. All right, Bob. Welcome aboard, my friend. Welcome aboard, my friend. You're going to be working for me, buddy. Or working with me. We're a team here. I don't want to be considered your boss, Bob. I want us to be like a close-knit family. You're running trucks. I'm running trucks. We're driving safe. We're getting the loads where they need to go. Let's freaking get it, Bob. Let's freaking get it, Bob. Sorry, Mark. Also, Sebastian... I'm probably going to see you on the news, man. Like, you, you're you never getting hired anywhere. All right. Now, how do I purchase a garage? Do I have to be, like, a certain level? It might be the case. A garage manager. I don't know how to, uh, how to actually get a garage. All right, I'm going to look it up. Okay. And he says, older means more skills. I believe in Bob, too. Brad's all about Bob. I think I made the right decision. Let's look up um, how to buy a garage. This is probably the most exciting stream you've ever seen. How to buy a garage in American Truck Simulator. It's grayed out, so maybe I have to be a certain level. Might have to drive through California. Hmm. How to actually purchase a new garage. Uh, go to the town the garage is located in and go to that garage. Drive over the floating symbol and press enter. You ha if you have the money, you've bought a new garage. Okay, no problem there. I can do that. Andy, th Andy, thank you. He says you'll need to discover the garage. We'll drive around the map. All right, buddies. Let's freaking, let's get it. We're going to Oregon, boys. Let's freaking go back to Oregon. We're going to do it the hard way. From Bakersfield. Oh, actually, I don't need to do it that way. Yeah, we can do it this way. If I'm in my truck, if I'm in my truck, I just want to get to Oregon. Yes. Oh, shoot, I'm still going to have to drive there, aren't I? I'm all the way down here, so I, I gotta get a I gotta do I don't want to drive there for free, you know what I'm saying? Um, let's see here. That gets us a good distance. I don't like the double cabs though. Oh, only seventeen dollars per mile though. Yikes! Yikes! Easy travel. Oh, there's a car. Oh, I never drove cars before. $41 per mile from Bakersfield to San Fran. Let's freaking go, man. Let's do it. I haven't driven cars before. I shouldn't have short talked about the... Look, here's inside the Mac. Look at this bad baby. I shouldn't have short talked all about the crash that I saw because that's probably going to be me. All right, let's fire it up. Oh, crispy as frick. You guys probably couldn't even hear that, could you? It'll get really loud. I know it's it's probably quiet right now. You may not even be able to hear it, but these trucks get super loud. Look at the outside. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, it's so old school. I freaking love that, man. That would look so good on the Kenworth. That paint job on the Kenworth would look 
so crispy. Anyways, let's um, let's throw in reverse. Or so I thought. Um, oh, parking brake on? How do I turn parking brake off? Parking brake is... Why are we... What, what's going on here, boys? I'm freaking stuck. My Mac Anthem is not off to a good start here. Why are we stuck? Why are we stuck? Engine brake? Oh, why is my engine brake the same? Okay, let me let me try something once. There's an engine brake? Is that what's happening? What the actual? I'm literally stuck in 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 my space here. Yeah, parking brake is off. What's going on here? I'm freaking stuck. I hate the Mac Anthem. I can't go anywhere. What do I do? Parking brake is off. Like, There's parking brake. I don't know how else this truck is... No. Turn it back off. Very odd. Okay, let me check something. Maybe my options are freaking dinkered. Um, throttle. Yeah, 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 yeah. All that's working. What the actual heck? I have no idea what to do. <laughs> this truck going, man. Oh, I'm, I'm fricked. I'm fricked. Um, I haven't had any issues with any other truck that I've ever driven. Why is my Anthem not driving? Anyone? Anyone? I need help. I can hear it, like, engaging. I, I don't like, do I not have something? That's really weird. Like I can, it, it's, it, why are we stuck here? What am I doing wrong? Also, I need to change my lights. I think my lights are my lights are controlled by the same thing that changes the uh, that changes whether it's automatic or manual. Gosh, I don't know what to do. I can't control anything with this. I control the horn. I can't turn the wheel at all either. Very strange. Okay, I got to figure this out. No, that's good. Okay. Here, maybe what I do. What if I exit? Exit, come back in. I don't know what else. It, it works all the time. Like, I've never had an issue with any truck that I've ever been in until this very moment right now. Very weird. Please just let me drive a Mac Anthem. I spent all kinds of money on this thing. Now it's like just sitting in a parking lot. <laughs> Unmovable. Okay, so we're all good there. All good there. 
Can I just drive? Hmm. Sorry for the delay, friends. I'm not sure what to do. I'm not sure why my truck won't move. Okay. Oh, it's it's doing something now. That was must have been a glitch because now it's working just like it's supposed to. Very weird, dude. Look at that. Yeah, like I couldn't even turn the wheel or anything last time. That was odd. Okay. Well, we better go get to freaking work because we are we're in trouble. Did my did my new job come up? Or do I have to select that job again? Job market. Freight market. Oh, I really want to do that job that I was... Yeah, this is the one. Is it on my GPS? Oh, it's right across the street. That's why I couldn't tell. Okay, we're all good. Andy said he never encountered that problem before. I just pulled out in front of some peeps, too. Literally right here. This is where I'm hooking up. All right, we're in business now, baby. Okay. Oh, wow. That one's going to Arizona. They both pay pretty well. I'm going to take this job. Gets us to San Francisco. All right, your trailer is ready. It's cool having that thing on top of my truck, too. I didn't have that before. You see that uh, the thing up there? Whatever it's called. All right, we got to hook up to this bad boy. Nice. Look out there, buddy. He's looking at his watch. He's like, dude, I saw you sitting across the street trying to trying to turn your truck on. What were you doing? I was like, I don't know what I was doing, my guy. I'm so sorry. I had no idea. The game glitched on me. All right, what are we hauling? We got uh, four cars. You guys ready to do this job up to San Fran? I'm hyped. Let's go. Freaking love this game, man. So cool ha hauling a car or cars. That's never come up for me. I am kind of jacked, though, because the job I had in Oregon before the game updated, it was to haul a bulldozer, and that was really cool. Like, when I went to go get the job, I was going down, like, this dirt road, like, literal dirt road in my rig, and I hadn't been on a dirt road at all since SnowRunner. Um, but it was just really neat. I should have went there. Or Escalade. Bruh. <laughs> Had to. All right. On the road again. Sorry for the delay there, folks. That was, uh, I don't think that was my fault. It might have been, though. I did my usual thing. I've taken off in many vehicles before. But, man, it sucks we got to go all the way back up here. We'll discover a garage somewhere up in Oregon. Oh, that's what I should have did. Instead of driving all the way through California again, why don't I go up and do a quick job? Although I, I don't think I... Oh, I can, can I? Now that I'm thinking about it, this job won't take me very long. Oh, actually, it's five hours. We'll do this job, and then I'll figure out what I want to do with the Oregon situation. If I go up there and I just discover a place, maybe I can just buy it outright, and then we don't have to drive the rest of the way. But I like this, this job right here. This is kind of cool. This will probably be my farewell to California as well, because I don't I don't believe that I'll be coming back for a while, because I've been doing nothing but California in this game for the most part. So I think what I'll do is I'll do this job to San Francisco. We'll do a quick route up in Oregon, and I'll just try to find a place like in Bend, for example, because there's a ton of jobs in Bend. And that's where we will uh, 
that's what we'll run our operation out of with a new garage. In the meantime, hopefully Bob's out there making money. I don't know if he's even working right now, but I'm hoping that he is. Because we got a lot of loan to pay back now. <laughs> and hopefully I have enough money to pay, buy another garage as well. But this is our farewell tour to California. It's been lovely. But I got to see the new sites. I got to see all the new states. In fact, if this is on sale right now, I might get some more states. Oh, there's uh, the old McDonald's. Just raise. How are we doing on gasoline here? Full. We're good. The Mac Anthem came filled with gas. That's like $130,000 value right there. Christopher, thank you so much for the... Uh, for the super chat, though, he says, this stream sponsored by Godzilla, destroying cities since 1954. I'll take it. Godzilla! If That would be cool if Godzilla, if you could drive by him. Even just a little roadside attraction would be great. If Godzilla was fighting King Kong. Which, if you guys haven't seen that movie, you want to see a good Godzilla movie. Assuming that you don't like the really old ones that are crazy. Watch, um, shoot, is it Godzilla vs. Kong? Is that what it's called? Clark and I watched it. There's this battle on, like, a battleship. Freaking amazing. I, I loved it. In fact, I think I might rewatch that. That's definitely worth a rewatch. The original Godzilla, I didn't love a whole lot because there wasn't a whole lot of Godzilla in it, and that's kind of what you you subscribe for, right? Like, you want to see Godzilla. Just like when you watch this channel or watch these streams, you don't want to see me dinking around in my garage trying to figure things out. You want to see me driving on the road. You want to see me hauling these cars. But I guess it's the buildup, you know? It's a part of it. Is it God Godzilla versus Kong? It seems like it should be called something else. And when you see who the extra person is that comes in at the end... It makes it even better. Getting down to one lane up here. We got a problem. Windmill farm over there. That's pretty cool. Don't have to go to the way station. Nice. Don't want to get tagged on that. I like a little construction action. Actually, I have a guy working out there. I love this. Um, speaking of games that most of my audience would find incredibly boring... I downloaded Farming Sim 2022. It's on Game Pass, of all things. So if you want to watch me drive trucks in uh, you know, on a farm or other machinery, I think you'll like that. I've had a lot of requests to go back to Farming Simulator. We've had a disastrous gameplay session. Of it. If you go back in the archives, oh my god, I did so many mess-ups in it. It's very hard to learn. Like There's so many things that's happening, first of all. But... The crazy thing is, like, I flipped my tractor over, and then I went out with a truck to try to get my tractor, and then I flipped that. Like, it was just bad things all around. Looking to see what was going on over there. But I wouldn't mind giving 2022 a chance, or just 22, I guess it is. I think I played 17 for PlayStation. I got it super cheap. I bet in five years they've come up with a lot of awesome things to add to it, so I want to play that. If I learn it and uh, we, we stick with it, I think we'd be really good at it. Also, I want to get back into Parkitect. What inspired me was I saw Roller Coaster Tycoon is on sale with Steam. It's the complete edition. So if you like roller coasters, that might be the game for you. But Parkitect is neat because you get to design the park from the ground up, which you might be able to do in Roller Coaster Tycoon. I have never played it. I've watched videos of it. But Parkitect, you design everything. In fact, you can do a lot of what you do in this game by taking out loans. Are we clear? Yeah, you can take out loans to uh, buy new amusements and attractions and stuff like that. And you try to make money, stay out of debt. It's pretty fun. Oh, shit, I'm going 71 miles an hour. We got to slow her down there, baby. Jeez Louise. I played Parkitect a couple times. That game sucked me in so much. It's for PC. The name intrigued me, but Papa Bear was the one that was like, hey, you got to play Parkitect. I'm like, I'm filing a copyright strike against that. But it's actually a pretty cool theme park game. But I don't know the first thing about designing theme parks. So I was I had all kinds of bottlenecks in mind. Like you gotta make lines for rides, you gotta make places where people can go to the bathroom, 
you got to have enough walking space to accommodate the people in the park. So it's it's really just a lot. I tried d- developing my own roller coaster too, and that was very difficult. So I just went with the pre-programmed ones, and it wasn't too bad. Shall we go inside the truck? Oh, baby, listen to that. Oh, baby. We are, we are definitely speeding, though. We're going to be in San Francisco in no time. We're getting there at 552. I like the Mac. It's a nice truck. We're going to slow her down a little bit, though. I used to have a button for cruise. Let's see if it still works. Nope. That put my truck in neutral. <laughs> I don't. I swear to God, I, I put these button combos on this thing to help me out, and then they reset all the time, and I have no idea why. Just... Give me my controls. That's why I want to play this on console, because they would already be set up for controller. I don't think this game would sell very well, though, on console. But Farming Simulator does, I guess. What's the difference? So we got to drive three hours. Jeez Louise. Brutal. Brutal. I do love this game, though. Something as simple as driving. So fun. I do feel like California is a little boring, though. Compared to Oregon, I feel like it's so much better. We're getting 6.1 miles per gallon. Jeez. That's brutal. I'm the only one that's like worried about my speed too because I don't want to have to pay. I have $116,000 left after buying this truck. I don't know how much a garage is, but I think I'm going to be short. I might have to take another loan out if they let me. I don't know if I'll be able to though because they might limit me in my borrowing. We're going to go bankrupt. Filing bankruptcy is mother truckers. Daniel, welcome. He says, hey, man, it's been a long time trucking. Yeah, mother trucker, we're back at it. Driving the Mac Anthem. Check this bad boy out. New truck, old school paint job. It was a part of some DLC that I downloaded. It's beautiful. We're hauling some cars up to San Fran, and then I'm going to try to go up to Oregon and find a new garage. I hired a driver on by the name of Bob. He's a classy guy. I'm hoping that he's working right now because I haven't uh, actually looked. But we're just hauling these things around. Driving our way up through uh, California, heading north. Cars passing us left and right. Speed limit's 55. They're going like 70, but I'll be the one to get tagged with a fine. Speaking from experience. Going north on uh, Interstate 5. They talk about California traffic. It's pretty nice. It's not bad. We're hauling four cars. Looks like a... uh, is that a Dodge? Shoot, what is that car in the back there? A Dodge something or other, it looks like. Has like the angles. These cars sound like garbage. My truck inside, especially, sounds amazing. Work area. Sky looks nice. You get these guys coming over? Come on over, buddy. Get over! <laughs> these guys are idiots. Like, wait till the last second, bro. Just like driving in real life. Jeez, idiots out here. Road Rage Simulator. All right. Smooth sailing now. So the truck's looking good. I should have did like a little look around for you guys. We'll see if I can do it right now. Nothing behind me. I don't have a sleeper on this, unfortunately. We're not that rich yet. 
We'll get there, though. But uh, inside the truck looks nice. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, okay, keep it on the road, boys. Off to Sacramento. We've got less than two hours of driving left. The driving goes quick in this game, though, for sure. I'm just excited to get back up to Oregon to do some crazy jobs. We're going to do a quick job in Bend and see if we can find the, the location that we're going for there. This truck hauls 70 miles an hour again. Holy smokes. So much better than the other one. Sorry, Bob. <laughs> I put Bob in the sucky truck. <laughs> I gave him a job, though. You know, he can drive the Kenworth. Highway Patrol. Taking the bad guys down. I love this freaking game. And you wouldn't think like you'd want to drive in a video game. Like, sure, racing. Like, you want to live like your fantasy. Maybe my fantasy is being a truck driver, though. I think if I had to pick a career, this is what I'd want to do. I want to drive an 18 wheeler all over the country so I'm not doing the same run every single day. And then I want to make videos documenting all the adventures that I go on and like the crazy things that happen on the road. I would also start a series like Truck Stop Cooking series where I try to go to the convenience store. And then I try to make like a gourmet meal out of like Slim Jims and Cheetos and things like that. I think it could be a big hit. Maybe in my next life as a truck driver, that's what I'll do. Or maybe I'll be like uh, my avatar from Mother Truckers where I'm an old man, white hair, white beard, and I become a truck driver. Ooh, we getting off up here, boys. Switching highways. Off to San Francisco. I have to pay a toll. Typical. That's why I'm trying to get out of California, man. Place sucks. Just kidding. Weather's been wonderful. I have yet to run into any rain at all. I do know how to turn my windshield wipers on, though. We're only 39 miles out. Oh, beautiful. Oh, if we went across the bridge. <gasps> Are we going across the Golden Gate Bridge? That would be amazing. I gotta pay a toll. I don't know if this is it or not. Probably not. Oh, I don't want to pay a toll. I'm cheap. Get going there, driver. How much do you think the toll is? Let's see. I'm literally going to hit the thing. $25? Holy! You guys are killing me. $25 toll to drive through there. Sweet Jeebus. Let's get the outside of the truck action. $25. San Francisco do be crazy. Oh, we're going to go through a tunnel. Oh, snap. This is freaking awesome. Okay, totally worth $25. Got some fog rolling in. Big ship out there. Is this a tunnel? This is so cool. Oh yeah, it is. Oh shoot balls. I was gawking. I was gawking. <laughs> oh frick. <sighs> okay. Sorry about that. I was getting all excited looking around. Let's get back in the truck. 
my first accident of the day. Now I have check engine lights and stuff on. Why was I gawking? It's so dumb. My truck sounds very sus now. Freaking San Francisco? I blame San Francisco. I'm still gawking. Okay, stop. Stop. I just want to see everything. Okay, I'm looking. <laughs> oh, God. I wish I could just, like, pause and, like, look around. Because that's what I want to do. I don't want to wreck my freaking truck. It's not a big deal when I'm driving somebody else's rig, but this is my rig, brand new. It's only got 265 miles on it, and I just smashed it into the side of a bridge. <laughs> Mother truckers. We are, uh... We're kind of crap drivers, honestly. Hope Bob's doing better out there than I am. Wow, this is a wild turn. Problematic on the Xbox controller. Probably doesn't help that I'm taking it at like 40 miles an hour either. My goodness. Okay, where am I going? Going right? Welcome to San Francisco, baby. My destination is ahead. There we go. We're going to deliver up to the left. I'm assuming at a car dealership, I would assume. Oh, maybe these car... Actually, it's like a shipping dock. Maybe these are getting shipped overseas. Fascinating. Alright. Where do you guys want it? Back it in? Yeah. Give it a shot. What the heck? Why not, right? Not a whole lot of space. Not a lot of space indeed. Oh my gosh. Oh, why did I do this, dude? Why did I do this to myself with cars on the back, nonetheless? I'll try my best. I'll try my best. Oh gosh. Did my truck just shut down? Gosh, I hope I have enough space here. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to get too close to that. Okay. Don't turn so much. Oh, it's going to be tight like a taiga. Are we are we clipping? Yeah, we do be clipping. Frick. I got a plan. We got to get a little wider here. Okay. So let's just... Don't do that so much, Greg. Oh, frick. Literally, like, a millimeter of space here. Okay, we're in good shape. We're in good shape. Uh, Miss San Francisco. Well, did it look like this? Were you were you driving a rig in uh, 
in a dock. Because this will bring back great memories for you. Oh, God, dude. Okay. Um... I have no room to to play around with here. We're getting worse and worse. Oh shoot balls. Let's um let's do this. Oh god, I'm scraping the trailer. Engine malfunction. Uh, this San Francisco trip has been a disaster. We'll get this, though. Okay, I need to see my wheels. Okay, we gotta... Give me credit, please. How close do we need to be? I think we can get this. <laughs> if only I had more space. But this is real life. I'm going to keep the wheel completely turned. Try to feed it over a little bit. Now we're real freaking dinked. Come on, Greg. You can do this. All right, so we got we got to align somewhat. God, my engine keeps shutting down. Jeez, Louise. This has got to be it, right? Oh. Sweet mother. I'll take it. How much to fix the truck? I don't even know where to fix the truck at, honestly. Diagnostics. Visits a service station. Yeah, I've got damage all over the place. Anyone know how to visit a service station in the game? Maybe we'll just drive. How's it going? Pretty good, buddy. I uh, wrecked my truck, though. I got the new truck, but I'm having problems. Oh, you're using the other screen. Yeah. I'm going to get some lunch. Okay. Um. Let's look at the let's let's do the job market thing once. Quick job. Andy, do you know how to fix the truck? Do I have to find a service station on the road out here? Because I can do that. Let's go up to Oregon and see if we can find any jobs up here in, like, Bend. California. Arizona, California. Nevada. Arizona, Arizona. Eugene. Ooh. We'd find something on that drive. Empty pallets. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I've headphones on. Yeah, yeah. What time is it now? 12.22? Yeah, that's fine. I'm just trying to get a garage in this game, and then we're, we're rolling. Let's see here. I kind of want to be centrally located in Oregon. Wouldn't that be kind of good to be right in the middle? Lots of Eugene jobs. Ooh, this one takes me to Washington. F freak. So we got lots of Eugene jobs. Eureka, California. Maybe we should go out of Eugene, Oregon. Kind of gets me closer to the West Coast there, too. Fresno. These are all in California. Okay, let's do that. Service station every town. Okay, thank you, boss. Andy, you're a legend, man. Living legend. Let's, let's see what we got here. 
up to Coos Bay. Eugene. You okay, buddy? It says the two pairs is wrong, Dad. It says 2022. It is 2022. Yeah. Oh, it's January. That's cream of chicken soup. That's not chicken noodle. Yeah, where's my chicken noodle? I don't know if we have any other chicken noodles, bud. It's not something I typically stock up on. Clark likes chicken noodle soup. Eugene. How about we just go out of Eugene? I feel like there's so many opportunities in Eugene. I just want a little short route through through Eugene, basically. That one takes us all the way to Washington. There you go, plan B. Go plan B, baby. <laughs> you are just a little light god, aren't you? All right, let's go Eugene to Newport. What's this right here? Bend. Bend is kind of an, I think Eugene would be good or Salem. One of these over here on the side, that that gets me kind of up in this this area up here towards Washington. And then maybe we'll get one in Idaho, too. I'd like to have one in every state. I feel like Eugene is is where to go. So we're going to do that. We're going to deliver TVs, take the job. Driving a... Uh, didn't even see what I'm driving. Wrench symbol. Okay, thanks, boss. I'll fix the Mac. Probably going to spend more money fixing the truck than I'm going to make on this particular job, I reckon. Which sucks. Freaking sucks, dude. Okay. Looking for a wrench on the map. I'm going to drive around Eugene. I think we're in Eugene, hopefully. I'm assuming I can do it in one of these trucks, too. I don't think that would be a problem, right? I'm driving a uh, Peterbilt. Let's try not to hit this other trailer on our way out here. Leaving the Walbert. Leaving the Walberts. Oh, this is going to be a tricky little turn. I don't know if I'm going to pull this off, boys. We might end up hitting the trailer here. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, freaking beautiful. I didn't look before I came out on the road, but beautiful. Oh, the wrench is going to do me no good here, but I want to... I need to find a... I need to find something here in this town. There's got to be... An opportunity for a garage in Eugene. I'm just going to drive around here and see what we got. Oh, frick. Red light violation. I was not paying attention. That was on me. What do the garages look like? What do garage options look like? Because that's honestly what I would like to get out of here. Red light. Can I see the map? Um, I guess I probably have to discover it, don't I? World map. Okay, so, oh, so Eugene's up here. All right, so I'm going to drive up there. Aha. Uh -huh. Bend would be good, too. Eugene's kind of centrally located between everything that I'm kind of hitting up here. Eugene or Bend, Oregon would be good. We got a thing over here. Puts us close to the coast, too. I kind of like Bend. Bend puts us out here a little bit. There's Idaho. The question mark is where a garage would be. Hmm. All right. Well, let's just, since we're driving through Eugene, let's check out this one and we'll see what it's like. Because Eugene puts us there. Bend. There's so many different places. I feel like for doing a lot of these Oregon jobs, this would be a good place. Portland would be good too, I guess, eh? All right, let's drive to Eugene. Let's friggin' do it, boys. All right. Green light, let's go. 
driving for Wolbert. I miss my Mac already. This thing's a lot slower. So I'm out 700 bucks. I just went through another red light, technically. It was yellow. Get inside so I can actually see. Oh, it's green light. Cool. Let's. This game is called American Truck Simulator. It's for PC, and Steam is having their summer sale. I don't know if this is on sale or not, but oftentimes you can find this game on sale for $5, which is what I bought it for. It's a... It's a great value for what you get out of it. You just drive trucks around, and you can play with an Xbox controller, which is what I'm doing right now. Uh, if you have a PC, I don't know how strong your PC needs to be to run it. Like there, You can really run on minimum settings. I have everything, I think, set to max, which I didn't even find out that you could do until later. But you kind of just take jobs. You drive around. You try to run a trucking company. You try to get another garage, which is what I'm trying to do here. So I'm going to Eugene, Oregon. In the base game, you get California. You get... New Nevada and you get Arizona but then you can buy new states and they're working their way across the, the western United States at this point so you can get uh, the Pacific Northwest pack which is what I did which got me Idaho it got me Oregon and Washington which I, th I thought were pretty cool you can also unlock New Mexico I believe unless I already have that one oh, we have Arizona too I forgot to mention Arizona but you can get uh, Wyoming there's a pack all kinds of stuff. So you can really go crazy in there, depending on what state you live in or what state you want to drive in. But I'm excited to see Oregon and Washington, which is why I'm trying to set up a base up here. I have $126,000. I don't know what, what a garage costs. I have to assume that it's probably more than that. But if I discover one, then once I get enough money, I can buy it. But we have a loan out right now, a massive one at 450000 I hired another driver. I have a second truck. So I have a driver out there running right now with me named Bob. He's a, he's a good guy, an old soul. But Bob's making money, I'm making money, and as long as we keep driving, and I turned off sleeping and stuff like that, so we can literally run 24 hours a day. At least I can. I don't know if Bob sleeps or not. Hopefully he does. This isn't his business, so he doesn't need to overwork himself. This is just me. The success or failure of this business is on, on myself. Wait, did I pass? Did I pass Eugene yet? I don't think I did. Hopefully not. Maybe I should check the map. Did I pass Eugene? Nope, we're coming up on it. Eugene's going to be off the next exit, so I'm going to end up actually taking off of this exit that's coming up so I can explore Eugene. Next exit on my right. Because we're trying to get a second garage in Oregon. Oregon's beautiful. I mean, this isn't this isn't necessarily the finest part of Oregon here. I like the mountains and the the beautiful countryside. But California is just nothing but freeways, so it's not that exciting to drive. So we're trying to get out of California. Maybe we sell our garage in Bakersfield. I don't know if we can do that or not. Just move right out of Cali. All right, so we're getting off this exit. I think. Yeah, we have to anyway. Cool. I don't know if it's going to let me do what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Well, headlight usage. Frig off, dude. I'm going to try doing this. I got to turn my headlights on, apparently. How's the stream? It looks like it's stuttering a little bit. We're struggling. Hopefully it's okay. I gotta check my headlight situation. No, not decoupling. Don't do that. Don't do that. All right, we got the headlights on. I forget how to do my high beams. All right, so we. I think we're in Eugene now. So I, I messed my truck up. The headlight button is the same as like turning my truck to manual transmission, so it's all frigged up now. 
I gotta switch the headlight button to something else. We're gonna go down and look at that question mark and see if that's a garage. That's cool. Red light violation. What the actual frick? I guess I was too far forward. Mother trucker. I've lost fourteen hundred dollars in red light violations, Clark man. I didn't. I didn't even do anything wrong, bro. Dad, what's wrong with you? I don't know, Clark man's. All right, let's sit back here. We don't want to. We don't want to spook them. I think we got a red light violation. So this is Eugene, Oregon. Got a couple question mark spots up here. See what they are. I see a service station with the thing. All right, this is a recruitment agency here. Okay. That's a Volvo dealership. What's the wrench? Okay, Volvo dealership discovered. Hold on, hold on. Is there no garage here? Oh, the wrench is to fix my truck. Maybe there's no um, garage opportunity in Eugene, which is entirely possible. Wrench. No, I, d I don't want to repair my truck. This is not my truck. <laughs> I'd be repairing someone else's truck. I don't want to do that. Okay. Um, high beam should be the K key. Yeah, see... Oh, frick. I'm not going to be able to get out of here. I messed with all of the, the controls. We, we have to fix this. i got to fix my lights. Because I'm doing it all with the, with the controller. Um... Light modes. Oh, X on the joystick. High beam. I need... S I think I made that Y. But I, I can't have that. Um, does the up button do anything? So X to turn on the headlights. But X does something else too, doesn't it? Let's see. Yeah, parking lights, regular lights, high beams. All right, let's back her up. I think Eugene was a bust, boys. I really want... I need a garage. I need a garage location. How do I... Is there a way to identify a garage? Or where a garage would be? Eugene seems to be without garages. I would go over to Bend, but I have this load to deliver. Oh, God. That's going to be freaking close. Oh, good, 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 good. We're good. Oh, is that a garage? Right across the street. Truck headquarters. Let me just go over there. How much? Hundred and eighty grand. Oh okay. Well, at least I know how much it's gonna be. We're we have hundred and twenty five thousand right now. Okay, so we discovered one. We definitely gotta get in Oregon though, Clark man. You wanna take it for a spin, Clarky? Sure. Can you get me there and actually make me some money? Yeah. You sure? You sure? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Okay. You want to be in the truck? Yeah. Oh, shoot. I have this plugged in. You might have to come over here, bud. Can you bring your chair over? Clark Man's going to uh, come over on the side. Clark Man's going to take over on the, on, the, on the drive here. Do you remember how to look around a little bit? Okay. Give yourself lots of space. Wait, 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 wait. Turn left. Left. Remember how to do the turn signal, too? All right, buddy. There you guys go. Oh, no, Clark. No. 
No, stop, stop. <laughs> oh, frick. Oh, frick. Stop, stop. Okay, you're you're fired. No. You got to be in that lane. You get, you're turning right here. You're going up there. Excuse me. All right, turn her right. 900 bucks. Okay. <laughs> Be thank you for playing, Clark, man. <laughs> I've been drunk lately. I've been playing Wobbly Life. You've been playing Wobbly Life? Yeah. If you want, you could probably play that on the Xbox over there. Is that thing hooked up? Xbox, the one over here? Isn't there one? Isn't my Xbox over there? I don't know if it's hooked up, though. Oh, my camera's all freaking dinked now. Clark, man, uh... Drove for 10 seconds and cost us $900. <laughs> if you need some help hooking that up, I can hook it up for you, Clark. Man. Let's get this delivery done. And I want to go check out Bend, Oregon. Bend over. Bend, Dover, Oregon. Oh, we're going to be there at 10.15. I'm not going to be able to back this one in because it's going to be dark. Hey, it turned on. He's on the Gatorade. <laughs> the legend's about the drive. Yeah, I had to fire him. He's going to play Wobbly Life. That's a good driving game for kids. What happened over there? What the actual frick happened over there? What? There's some weirdness happening, Clark, man. What is that? What is that? You see it in the background? Yeah. It's like, oh, a truck is like digging into the ground. That's the trailer. Oh, the truck. The front of the truck is underground. That is glitching. Can I, can I get a green light here or did I miss it? It's glitching, Dad. It's glitching. I'm about to just drive through this red light. The truck's glitching, Dad. Yeah, you guys see that glitch over there? I just need a darn green light, bro. Oh, I'm going to get tagged on this probably. Can I get a green? I have... It still says... You... F I sat there forever, dude. I'm just going. That cost me another $700. I'm going to lose money on this drive. Son of a biscuit. This really sucks. This has been a, a terrible trip. Eugene was kind of a bust. We gotta make a bunch of money. I'm gonna see if I can take another loan out if they let me. What do I need, $60,000? I, I already have one loan out though. I don't really wanna take another loan. Oh, I'm itchy. <sighs> Disappointed. Wow, this truck has 587,000 miles on it right now. Sheesh. A little steep there. Alright, so we, we got 77 miles to drive. We'll get there. I gotta turn off traffic violations, I think. I don't want to keep getting... No, I can't do that, though, because then I'll be cheating all the time. I'll be going through every red light in the game. Got to keep myself honest somehow. I already turned off sleeping, so I don't have to do that. I want to check my statistics in the garage once I'm done with this, too. I want to see if Bob's made any money for us, because he's been driving for, for at least a day, I would assume. Today's his first day driving. Assuming that he's working. I don't know if he is. Term headlights off. High beams off. There we go. All right, slow her down. We don't want to flip it over going around this little loop de loo. Holy sh Nikes. Dad, the Xbox is doing something out of it. It says your Xbox console is Oh, turn this one off. I think this Is this one on? Is the white light on on that one? What's it say exactly? Your Xbox 
console is taking a long time to something the cloud. I don't know what that means. Can you uh, reset it or restart it? Clark's trying to get our old Xbox working over there. I might have to help him out with that. I've never seen that message before, buddy. I could probably fix it in the time that I set this red light. Wow, I didn't think we were going to make the stop there. There you go. You're good? Yeah. Sweet. Sweet. Clark fixed it. Freaking red lights, dude. Oregon red lights are the worst. What? And he says he turned off sleep too. Who needs it? Hey, there's one of the green lights. Now I got a green. Finally. I just want to deliver this load and I want to drive to Ben so I can check out the situation there. You all good, buddy? Yeah. What's going on? It says options. Just keep hitting B and get out of all that. You need me to help? Hit the right bumper button or left bumper button. And then just start the game from there probably. We've got 46 miles left. Is it working, buddy? Uh-oh, something going on up here. Some construcciones. Here we go. We're going to get stuck here. I'm curious to see if your file from yesterday comes over. Will it be the same one on that Xbox? I, I think it will. That's pretty cool. Clark was playing Wobbly Life. If you really want to test the power, you want to test the power of the Xbox Series X, play Wobbly Life on it. Uh, it, it will, you'll be amazed how incredible it is. It's a game that could probably run on the PlayStation 2. But now he's playing on Xbox One, so I'm curious to see if the file saves over across everything. Is it loading up, buddy? Oh, cool. All good. And he says, if you're sleeping too much during delivery, you might end up being late and cost you money. I already have enough things that cost me money during my deliveries. I don't need to do that, dude. I have crashes. Sorry, buddy. We got to get a hundred and sixty thousand dollars, hundred and eighty thousand dollars. I need to make sixty grand in this game, which is like, what, maybe ten jobs at most. I'm sitting on all this money. I want to turn it into something. Ooh, oh, oh crap! I don't have enough money for it. I was thinking I could hire another driver, but I would need another truck. You know what I'd like to do? I don't think this is possible. Sorry, bubs. I'd like to hire a driver and act as though I'm an employment agency. So I hire the driver and then I have him go and work some quick jobs where they pay $30 a mile, but I pay him $15 a mile using their equipment. So I'm just like the middleman. Like he could go to them and you know do the job and get paid full price, but he could come through me and I could take half the money. I feel like that is a win for every, <laughs> everyone, except for him. You know, he works through me, I take the money, and then I just hire like 10, 20, 30, 50 people on doing that, and I don't even have to drive anymore. I just sit back and I become a, a, like an employment agency, which is kind of what the recruitment agency is, I suppose. Maybe they're doing the same thing. I like to think that I hired Bob on as like a full partner though. This freaking sucks trying to see out here. Out here in the middle of nowhere. Can't see Jack at nighttime, dude. 
Luckily, we're pretty close. We've got uh, nine miles left, 14 minutes. We're going to have ourselves all the way up in somewhere in Oregon. Oh, our customer's kind of jacked, it looks like, because we are, uh, we're taking time. <laughs> Maybe it was all the time we spent in Eugene trying to check out a location. That was probably it. We got to get there, though. I'm done. Sorry, boss. I'm not going to be back in this inn at nighttime. I can't see Jack Diddley out here. Let's say I have like a really lit up area to drive in. Which is possible. But I still think it'll be a challenge. Gas is much cheaper here in Oregon, it seems. Can I go? I'm literally going right there. All right. What was I even delivering? Pallets or something? I have no idea even what I traveled here with. Play it safe. Oh, goodness. Think I can do it? Think I can back it in there? Let's let's give it a shot. It looks pretty uh pretty lit up. Let's see if I can do this. Looks like there was a wall or something next to where I where I'm gonna be. Oh, okay, I can do that. I can do that, no problem. Let's not hit the the posted truck. Alright, so I'm just gonna go down right down inside there. We gotta get her all sorted out here. Okay, let me let me pull it forward a little bit. Okay, turn it, turn it. Lots of space here. The question is, can I get it aligned properly to actually go down there? I almost have too much space to even too much time to think. Oh, they gave me lots of space on each side. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. Am I going to hit? I did. Okay. Pull her forward a little bit. This is my favorite part of the game, dude. I think I might need to pull forward a lot more. Just swinging around, baby. Swinging around. Swing it. Oh, God. Just grind it right down the side. No problems. Just freaking... Can't find it. Grind it. Oh, we are... How do we go through the the posts that are there? That's... That's dinked. Okay. Wait a minute. We'll get this. They're very generous with that, that post situation. When I'm backing in, they call me Post Malone. I'm just freaking sending her. You get, you gonna give me credit? Oh god, I hope they don't, because this is terrible. Did they give me credit for this? Aw, oh, gosh. I'm 
I'm sucking. This this one seemed like it wasn't that bad. I think I just I just had a bad strategy. Okay. That's that's a little better. Oh, worse, worse, worse. No. <laughs> <laughs> no? Okay, okay, we got it this time. If I just drive it straight out, honestly, and then just back it straight in, I think I have it. Like, we're like right there, baby. Just back her straight down. Don't even have to do any work. It's, it's all downhill. My parking performance is too. Oh! How much money we lose? Okay, made four stacks. Made the level 12. Nice, and uh, let's see, long distance, nah. Fragile cargo, just in time, fuel economy. Let's see, just in time delivery. Rank two. I'm not, a, I'm not very, I should do the high value cargo, 20% reward. Do I want to be a well-rounded guy? This one too. What's uh, what's class four get me? Class four, delivery is up to 1600 miles. No, I don't want to drive over a thousand miles, I don't think. Long distance, rank two, delivery is up to 650 miles. I like doing the shorter ones actually. High 20%, 10%. I think I'm gonna do fragile cargo. I like to be a well-rounded fella. Okay. Now, I'm curious for something. If I go to... Gr what? Yeah. 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 What is in that garage show that I discovered? Oh, maybe it's because I didn't have enough money. I'll just... Once I get enough money, I'll just go get a garage. Okay. Where are we at now exactly? Did they send me back to Bakersfield, I wonder? Let's take a, let's take a gander. Um, if I go job market and then I go to freight market, do they send me back to Bakersfield every time? Oh no, my trucks are in San Francisco still. Great. Okay. Um, maybe that's where we'll wrap it up. How long have we been streaming here? Two hours, two hours deep. Let's check one thing. I do want to see how, how my guys are doing. So let's go to dr driver manager. Okay, so Bob, I'm, that's how much money I'm making. Bob's only making $5 per mile. Average profit, $5 per mile. Wow, he's only making $158 a day. Hopefully that's just because he only worked one day. That's not very good. I'm making 16 grand a day. He's making $158 a day. But that's okay. Show the log. Okay, so that's he's only done one thing. Used packaging from Bakersfield to Santa Cruz. That's okay. He's making some money. He's out there doing it. We definitely need him to pick that up though because if he's going to be paying for himself He's got to make more than $5 a mile. That's not very good. He's making, his wages are pretty high. But maybe as the days go by, he might not even work an entire day for all I know. But I'm doing pretty good, it seems. Not too bad. We're on the road, 297 miles on that. Well, so I think the next episode, what we'll do, we're going to fix the truck. We're going to do a couple jobs. I just need to drive like four days and I have enough money. Oh, can I take more loans out? That's a, that's a question that I have. Go to the bank. Oh my God, I can borrow more money. Yeah. Hey, uh, I, I, don't, I don't turn down pizza ever. I'm down. Let's pe pepperoni, pepperoni. 
All right, so next move we're going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Next episode, boys. Here's the move we make. We borrow another 100 stacks. We go out to bend. And that's where I buy my next shop. We go all the way out. there. I'm in San Francisco now, but we go out to Bend, Oregon. I feel like Bend is a perfect place, centrally located, to do lots of jobs. Or Eugene, one of the two. I take that money out there, and then I, I get a garage. I'm assuming that's what a garage is. I like to at least see the one in Bend before I commit. So we'll do, we'll do either Bend or Eugene, Oregon, or I'll do a vote or something like that. Bend puts us more towards the center, so we could go to Burns, go to Eugene. But we've got all these ones up the coast here, so I think Eugene would be nice. Or Portland, even. No, we'll do, I think we'll do Eugene. So I'll take my money to Eugene. We'll get another garage. I'll be centrally located in Oregon, and then we just do Oregon jobs for the whole next episode. I think this could be pretty cool. So this was definitely, like I think, a pretty decent setup for our next operation that we're going to do. Made some money, went into debt. But we got things figured out. I learned a lot in this game today, and I'm, I'm like excited to continue playing this. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me on this journey in American Truck Simulator. I love this freaking game. Uh, it makes me want to play all kinds of other stuff, and we might just do that. So uh, stay tuned for maybe some more streams coming up here on uh, various games we like to play, and uh, come along with us on this gaming journey. Hope you guys have a glorious rest of your day, and we'll see you all. I leave the screen. We'll see you guys all in the next video.